and welcome back for another workout. Today's workout you'll need a set of moderate dumbbells, a broomstick, and a timer for a 60 minute five round circuit where you hit each exercise for 40 seconds followed by a 20 second rest as you work your way down the circuit. All right, you ready to get started? Okay, just remember, 40 seconds each exercise with a 20 second rest between each exercise. Now if an exercise calls for a unilateral movement, that means you have 40 seconds on each side. So that's like the single leg squats that we have and also the single leg RDLs. So you're ready to get started, grab that timer, grab that broomstick and grab a set of moderate dumbbells and let's get it going. All right, we're gonna start off with that broomstick twist. Now with this, grab that broomstick and there's two ways to do it. You could either keep it more hip steady or you could go a little bit more with a rotation of the hips where you pivot the foot, rotate through with the hips. So either one is good. You have 40 seconds on, then give yourself a 20 second rest. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna head right down to the floor. Now here, we're gonna go for a push up with pull over. So you get yourself in a push up position and here you go, you start right off, you drop down. And what you wanna do is you wanna pick that dumbbell up and carry it over to the other side, just to the outside of your body. That's as much as you need. I'm gonna show you another view in a moment. So, so at this point, what you wanna do is just make sure the hips are steady, shoulders are steady. They're neutral, they're not turning or rotating. And look, as I place that dumbbell, it's just to the outside of the body. All right, so the next exercise that you have is gonna be your sit-up. Now sit up with rotation, pretty self-explanatory. So you wanna keep those heels loaded on the ground, butt on the ground the whole time. And as you rotate, you're turning the shoulders through. So up, and then you give yourself that rotation. And again, 40 seconds, then you give yourself a 20 second rest. And then we're gonna head right to the squat to press with the reverse lunge. So for each squat to press, you do one reverse lunge, squat to press, then you hit the other side, one reverse lunge. And again, this is 40 seconds on, and then you have 20 seconds off. I'm keeping a medial grip with the shoulders for that shoulder press, and this one challenges the balance a little bit. Okay, so you do wanna, when you head into that reverse lunge, make sure you keep your balance and really reach back with that leg as you drop down, okay? You could also add a press to that reverse lunge if you wanna get a little bit more shoulders in there. But good hinge, drop down. All right, so the next one is the RDL. This one, what you're gonna do is set yourself up, you go down nice and slow, four seconds, pause for two seconds, then you explode right up. So again, four seconds on the way down, hold for two, and power up. So that's your RDL, four second slow, two second pause, power. Now, when you're doing this, make sure those feet, they just stay you know, about a good seven to eight inches apart. The knees don't go in and you're really hinging. So you're pushing the hip back. The hips go back, the butt goes back towards the back wall. Now, after the RDLs, we go right to the single leg RDL. Now, look at this one. Keep a nice little hinge, back parallel to the floor, squeeze up with the glute. Foot stays flat on the ground. The opposite leg is lifting up. So chin stays neutral, good knee stability, power yourself up. So 40 seconds on one side, 20 second rest, 40 seconds on the other, and then you give yourself a 20 second rest, and then you're gonna head right to the floor for the lean backs. Now with these lean backs, I chopped my head off in this video, but make sure those hips stay forward, you drop them back, five second count, you hold for two seconds, then you come right back up to neutral, three second count. Again, five seconds on the way down, pause for two seconds, and then three seconds on the way up. And it's one long line from your knees all the way to your head. Okay, so you don't wanna hinge with the hips. The glutes stay tight, abs stay tight. You're gonna feel these in the quads. So the next one is you stand up, grab a chair, you have your single leg squat or your pistol squat. You hinge, you drop down nice and slow, power yourself up. This is a nice controlled movement. Back stays flat. I'm gonna show you a front view and just make sure this is a very good one for knee stabilization. 
So that knee is going to be fighting all over the place. You're just trying to keep it steady. As you squeeze up with the glutes, drop down with the quads, squeeze right on up with the glutes. Now your last thing for the, for the circuit, you know it, it's the burpees. And a burpee is not a burpee until you do the what? The push up. So get your burpees in and that is your routine. So there you go. I hope you enjoyed the video. I mixed up the format on showing you the circuit and exercises and I'm messing around with video editing and voiceover. No pro here, but would love to hear your thoughts. So please feel free to comment and if you enjoyed the workout, hey, give me that thumbs up. All right, see you soon.